Hello, and welcome to another episode of ZEP Learning with myself, Zane, the owner and manager of ZEP Finance. What I'm here to talk to you about today is equity does not equal borrowing capacity. It's a common misconception that I get a lot of people call me up and ask about. So what this means is that to be able to borrow, there's a few things that you need to take into account. One is your borrowing capacity. That's the amount you can borrow based on your income. It has nothing to do with the equity, the deposit or anything else you have. It just is solely reliant on your income and expenses. How that works is lenders will look at your income and then they'll look at your net income after tax. From there, they'll take away your general living expenses. There is no way to lower your living expenses below the lender's minimum. You can only increase them. They do have a standard minimum living expenses that they will include for you. After that, they'll take away any debt that you have. So your credit cards are classed as a repayment per month, any car loans, any hex, anything else that you have. And after that, you're left with a figure that they call your net disposable income. With that net disposable income, the lender will then determine what level of loan you can afford. And it's not based on the interest rate of 4% or 3.9% that you will get. It's based on an assessment rate. The assessment rate is generally between 7% and 8% depending on the lender. The reason they do this is that they need to make sure you can afford the loan in case the rates were go to, to go up. If they were to give you your maximum borrowing at a 4% interest rate and rates went up, you couldn't afford your loan. So that's why they have the assessment rate. So that is what we get that gets your borrowing capacity. Now, your purchase capacity is based on the deposit that you have or the equity you have available in another property. Because yes, you can borrow, but then the lender also needs to have a deposit or have equity in the property that you're buying so they're comfortable to lend to you. So that would then be your purchase capacity. A lot of clients think because they have a lot of equity in their home or in properties, that that gives them the ability to borrow. Unfortunately, that used to be the case many years ago, but with consumer law now, they have to go with responsible lending. Is it responsible to give somebody a loan that they can't demonstrate they can afford to pay? The answer to that is no. So just because you have equity does not mean you can borrow. You need to also have the borrowing capacity, which is based on your income and expenses, to go along with that equity to make sure that they can give you a responsible loan and that you can pay it back. Thank you for watching the video today. As always, there is our website. We do have the couple of tabs at the top, the Learn tab and the Video tab. If you haven't seen this there, there's some other great um, information that you can get. Thank you for watching. I look forward to talking to you soon.